Alhamdulillah, Hirabil Alameen. Wa sallallahu wa sallam ala nabiyyana Muhammad wa ala alayhi wa sahbihi wa sallam. Amma ba'da habita fillah. I wanted to give advice to those sisters who are trying to seek knowledge. Uh, first and foremost, the Prophet alayhi salatu wa salam said, Talab al ilm fariditun ala kulli muslim wa muslima. That seeking knowledge is an obligation upon every Muslim male and female. And by gaining knowledge, seeking knowledge of the Quran and the Sunnah of the Messenger of Allah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, you better protect yourself from shubahat and shahawat, from uh, doubtful issues, issues that you have doubt in, especially with regards to aqidah and minhaj, methodology of how to practice Islam and the methodology of da'wah, that you're clearer the more knowledge that you gain. And it is a defense to protect you from evil and the shubahat that people will bring to you. Bring to you about hijab, to know how to properly wear hijab, to wear, know how to properly interact with uh, males and to interact in your society and what have you. This comes through ilm. And likewise with regards to the shahwat, to the desires that the more knowledge you gain, and the more you practice that knowledge, so it's not just memorizing, and it's not just reading, and it's not just uh, having that knowledge, but it's practicing that knowledge. The more you practice what you're learning, this will help you to defend yourself from the many evils uh, that come through the path of desires. For example, pornography. For example, uh, uh, having a boyfriend, for example, lesbianism, for example, whatever the case may be, those things, the, the, the knowledge and the practice of that knowledge will help you defend yourself from those various types of temptations and those various types of assault upon your desires and your persons. The Prophet ﷺ said, Man yurid Allahu bihi khayran fiddin. Whenever Allah wants good for a person, He gives him understanding of the religion. The ulama say al mafhum al mukhalifa of this hadith that the the opposite understanding or the implication of this hadith is that the person who is not given more knowledge about their deen is not gaining the love of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or Allah doesn't want khair for them. So the more that you remain jahil and ignorant of your religion is a sign that good is not intended for you. Because the person who remains jahil years and years in their religion then they make more sins, they fall into more doubtful things than the person who gains knowledge and who raises themselves. As Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala mentioned, that He gives those people uh, darajat, that uh, those people who are given knowledge, they're given degrees and, 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 and higher levels, levels in paradise, levels in this life. So in the dunya wal akhira, they're raised. Why and how are they raised? They're raised through ilm. And so knowledge is very important. And then going back to the hadith, man yurid Allah bi khayran yufiqahu fi deen. Whenever Allah wants good for a person, He gives them understanding of the religion. That fiqh fi deen, that understanding in deen, it gives you the tools to be able to practice. If you're in Alaska, if you're in Gothenburg, if you're in France, if you're in uh, 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 Holland, if you're in, wherever you are, in the far corners of the earth, you have tools to be able to distinguish between haq and batil. The more knowledge you gain, the more fiqh you gain. And I don't mean just memorizing, because there are plenty of people who are like the tekfiris and the khawarij and the and the uh, even some extreme Sufis who memorize. They memorize a lot. But they don't have real fiqh fi deen because they don't really understand the deen because they have a minhaj or aqidah that's munharf. And a minhaj or aqidah or creed which goes against the correct creed of Islam. So, therefore, that fiqh fi deen is not just memorizing because there's many tekfiris and khawarij who have memorized, but then they have the most extreme views. And they depart from the, what they've memorized. And they don't understand what they memorize. Fiqh fi deen. This means understanding the deen. Understanding it. Sometimes a person hasn't memorized much. But they have fiqh. They have some, uh, some, some understanding of their religion. That they gain from the ulama. That they gain from 
you know, tulab al ilm that they gain from whoever that they have fiqh fi deen. Likewise, they are you know, the 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 hikmah, the wisdom. So these are not inherent to memorizing. These are not. They don't just come uh, when you memorize only, but it comes from really sitting with the ulama. So what about the sisters? If they are blessed to be able to seek knowledge by traveling with their mahram, you know, or, or however, or they've made hijrah and they live in the land of Muslims and they're able to seek knowledge in circles with the scholars, then this is fantastic. This is the best. This is the best to, have, to be able to immerse yourself in knowledge and benefit at the feet of the scholars. If not, which is the case for many of our sisters, especially in the West, or especially in non-Muslim uh, societies, that they were their minorities, then they uh, are not able to to do that, and they're maybe r restricted their homes. But now we have the internet. Now we have many things. But we must be cautious, and we must be informed as to who to take our knowledge from. So we should avoid taking knowledge from those people who are deviant, as we know some of the deviant people of today who are very popular, very popular, thousands, millions of followers around the world mention their names and are so happy and they're on BBC and they're on this and on the, uh, you know, they're out there in the public. But what are they offering their communities? What are they offering the Muslims as real, sincere advice? A deen and nasiha. The deen, the religion is nasiha. It's advice. And, and it is advice to the book of Allah. And it's advice to the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Because they are giving you a new modern way which goes against perhaps the book of Allah. And sometimes may it go against the sunnah of the messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. And definitely will go against the... Uh, Men had to the salaf of this ummah. So it's very important that you take your knowledge from Ahl al ilm that is from Ahl al-Sunnati wal Jama'ah based on Kitab al wa Sunnat Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa alayhi wa sallam. And the correct men had, and that they take from the methodology, they go with the consensus of what the Sahaba were united upon in creed. And what the salaf of this ummah, the sahaba tabi'een, with tabi'a tabi'een, rahimahumullah jami'a wa radiyallahu ta'anhum, that they take from their methodology on how to understand and practice Islam. Their fiqh, their sunnah, their understanding and practice of the sunnah of the Messenger of Allah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, because our mastar is kitab wa sunnah. It's going to the Quran and the sunnah. So, it's very important to know who you take your knowledge from and know the importance of knowledge that you should know tahara, you should know your 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 creed, you should you know your aqidah, you should know uh, something about minhaj, you should know something about uh, uh, you know the fiqh that you need to practice as we said tahara and salat and if you have wealth for your zakat and for fasting you must and for the women the height, uh, taha, uh, which goes to tahara and purification, they should know about their menstrual cycles, and they should know about the ahkam, the rulings pertaining to their menstrual cycles, so that way they know how to practice, and they're on fit, fidin. They're not just asking everyone uh, for a view and an opinion about something because they have no usul. Gaining basic knowledge, and with that, it comes by studying books. So I want to mention that it's not just listening to lectures that feel good about your Iman and this and wow that was a nice lecture so and so did, brother so and so did this, sister so and so did this. Those are good, those are wonderful. We're not belittling those. But how do you gain knowledge? We're talking about fiqh fiqdeen. We gain that fiqh by not saying I heard a sheikh said, but by going through those matun, those texts chapter by chapter, finishing books, finish a book in fiqh, or, or those chapters pertinent to you, go through a whole thing of tahara. Read Bukhari and Muslim, the whole chapter of tahara, and that'll give you to, and then ask your questions. Sit with the Talib al -Ilm. Now you have the internet. Now you have programs on the internet, you know, online universities you have that you can benefit from. So all of these things will help you gain fiqh fiddin and help you practice your religion and understand your religion. 
So those are just some of the advices. And a last point I want to mention is because the woman, we don't know of any other way that we're going to bring about that family, except through marriage and the woman having the children. So with that, meaning that the children and their attachment to their mothers, that the mother is the first madrasa. She is the first form of learning. So the woman who has fik fideen and is a, a good, kind, and affectionate, and righteous woman, then she, and an intelligent and spiritual woman, that she has much more to offer her children than the woman who doesn't know anything about her religion. Because she won't be concerned as much about halal and haram. And she won't even know what halal and haram are. So gain knowledge. And I, this is advice for, uh, for all of us that we should seek knowledge and benefit and strive to go forward and be better. And we ask Allah the Almighty to accept our good and forgive our evil. Anything I said that was correct was from Allah Azza wa Anything I said that was incorrect was from myself and the shaitan. وصلى الله وسلم على نبينا محمد وعلى آله وصحبه وسلم